Hi, welcome to Photon, Photon County. County. My name is Eric, and this is my partner, Tom. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the probabilistic stochastic nature of photon counting Photon using, counting! using two different light sources. One is coherent light, and one is a pseudothermal light source. Now, this is our experimental, experimental apparatus. We're using a helium neon laser, hitting a microscope objective lens to focus it on this ground glass plate, the significance of which will be described soon. After it comes through here, we use a variable polarizer to attenuate the light where it enters a long tube and reaches a photomultiplier tube. The signal from the photomultiplier tube is right now hooked up to our oscilloscope right here. And right now we can see one photon count, uh, and your lab manual may ask you to note the ringing, which is this piece right here. Uh, what happens is we can turn this oscilloscope off and connect to our photon counter right here. This is the high voltage for the PMT. And we also have a variable controller for the ground glass, ground glass plate right here. Uh, Dr. Bensky has set up a computer program that interfaces with the photon counter so that you can collect all of your information. Well, for testing the photon counting for a coherent light source, we leave this ground glass plate stationary. The laser light comes through and we attenuate it just enough so that we can observe individual photon counts through the PMT. As it turns out, the amount of counts we get in a given time interval is very correlative with a Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is representative of random counting experiments, which means that photon counting is indeed random for coherent light sources. Part two of the experiment involves us setting a pseudo involves us setting a thermal source and looking at the photon counts from that source. On second thought, instead we'll just have a piece of glass that spins. The light from the laser will then be scattered off of it in a spherical wave packet pattern. And what we'll do is it'll have random phases, and random amplitudes, and that will model a thermal source, hence a pseudothermal source. And uh, what we'll do is we'll use this controller to spin the ground glass plate. What'll happen is, it will model almost perfectly to a Bose-Einstein distribution. You may notice that there will be a lack of zero counts, and that is because our pseudothermal source isn't perfectly thermal. Now, the Bose-Einstein distribution models random counting as well from a thermal source. And because our pseudothermal source matches very well with the Bose-Einstein distribution, we would conclude that Photon counting from a thermal source is indeed probabilistic and stochastic. Any other comments, Tom? No. Thank you.